Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another StarCraft II showdown on the StarCrafts mod. There are five maps for this. I do not know which map we will get. I have it set to random, but we got a little bit of a better match than the first one that we had. It's going to be two Diamond League players, Final Fury facing off against Daywalker. If you watch my stream, if you participate in my chat, then you know these two memers very well. If this icon doesn't tell you what you need to know about this player, then not even God can save your soul. In the top left position as the Teal Zerg, we have from Clan Russella, Final Fury. And in the bottom right, as the Orange Terran player, representing the Sir W Clan, we have Daywalker. Of course, this is on the new StarCrafts mod made by Carbot Animations. Shout out to those guys at Carbot Animations on Twitter. And of course, you can always follow me on Twitter at Nathanius TV. This mod just came out today on October 11th of the year 2016. And it's been in development for quite a while. As you guys can see, it's pretty awesome. This is this be the second one that I put up. Second match on this mod. I'll be trying to get some pro gamers to come out and compete against each other. Everything is reskinned. If you've watched the Carbot Animations StarCrafts videos, then you, you already know what you're getting into here. It's awesome. So this map actually does have the proper resource count, by the way. Um, actually does have. This one is not the half full, half empty. This one is actually, yeah, yeah. Half for 15, half for 900 at start. So this is different than the other, the ice or lava map that we were on before. So, uh, yeah, this is, uh, I don't believe any of the maps for the Carbots mod are made for 1v1 right now. Um, I've, I've brought it up. Obviously, it takes some time for them to make them, and this is not going to be like a competitive mod. So, you know, it makes sense that most of the maps would be designed for team games since the casual base of StarCraft definitely prefers team games over 1v1. So, yeah, hopefully in the future we will see uh, maybe a one versus one map set up. I think a few 1v1 maps would be pretty cool if we could get a reskin of some of the really popular maps. Maybe like, uh, I think a, a Carbot version of Dust Towers would be really, really awesome to get matches on this because most people do like that map. Uh, Daywalker's going to be going for his expansion. Final Fury, two quick exposed. So taking a lot of bases at once. Okay, get the production tab up. It's going to be a reactor opening after that Reaper. And if you ever wanted to play this, you do not need to own any version of StarCraft 2 to play this mod. You can simply go, I believe you can just go straight to StarCraft2.com and you can download from the Battle.net launcher if you play a game. If you play something like Hearthstone or uh, World of Warcraft or Overwatch, you can just install StarCraft 2 and play anything from the arcade 100% for free. You do not need to own any version of StarCraft to play arcade games. This is in the arcade. You can just search Carbot. Uh, you can just search StarCraft's mod. As you can see, it's quite literally written right here. StarCraft's mod. And that will... There is a space between Star and Craft, so you just search that. I have actually not seen this. You got our little, uh, little rocks. And you, like I said, you do not need to own this game at all to play it. So just remember that. Uh, you have balloons come down. If you supply drop depots... It's actually balloons that fall down from the sky onto your supply depot. So that's how you can tell which ones have been supply dropped. As the natural finish is up for Daywalker. And we do have some Lings going to poke here from Final Fury. Trying to get some work done. And SCV taking a little bit of heat. So Lings push that SCV back. And the Reaper and these Marines are going to hold the high ground now. On the way is Stimpak for the Marines. And Zergling Speed is actually about to finish as well. There's a little Zergling swimming in the pool. I don't know how well that's going to show up on the encoder. But yeah, there you go. This actually should be really high quality video pretty easily because there's such little motion since it's so many static images and not, not as much dynamic uh, moving background, I guess. So mid quality wise, this should actually look better than most everything. So there you go. Uh, we do have a reactor barracks in the back pumping out two Marines at a time. The factory is getting a tech or a reactor for the starport. Okay, so it's going to be two racks. Um, Medivac Stim Marine attack, it looks like. So, Reaper and these Marines are going to chill at home, of course. You have to be careful about this back door. There's still a lot of ways that you can get in, because this is not a 1v1 map. And then, of course, there's the rocks. This watchtower. Kalwanga Tower? The Kalwanga Tower. Nice meme. As this SCV is going to come to the side. Final Fury, he can see that. Final Fury knows. 
What's up? Sees that SCV scout. I think he knows with his link speed being done, he could try to go through the right side where it is open. There's a lot of Marines here, though. If he doesn't move in after the Marines leave, then the Marines should be enough to stop it. He's going to build one Widow Mine and go for this double Medivac. So, Lings are going to come in from the back. Final Fury is getting an Evolution Chamber. He's spreading his Creep Tumors. He's taking another gas, but the Lings are going to get into the main base. Mineral Line, Final Fury's SCVs being caught off guard. The Medivac's coming over with these Marines now, but he needs to be careful. His Sim City is making it a little bit difficult to get in position around his forces. And these Lings, they came, they saw, they killed seven SCVs, and they got the hell out of dodge so baneling nest is on the way the evo chambers are ready so we could see the one one begin no lair coming in just yet for final fury but stim pack is just about done and now he is ready to make his attack so he's gonna try to block this off he's gonna get a bunker here a few of these there's the widow mine as well so loads everything up he's grab the mine grab the mine there we go and now the better backs are gonna boost over as you can see, they look pretty awesome, especially when boosting. These lings are moving out. I don't think Final Fury knows. He doesn't have the other Kalwanga Tower. Thanks. So these medevacs are going to arrive. There's really not a lot here to deal with this. The lings wanted to go for the counter, but SCVs are going to come over to repair this fortification and prevent the wall from being torn down while the marines drop towards the third expansion. The drones are here, but nothing else here is here to defend. There's this bunker. The Reaper is here, but there's nothing. He's not in the bunker. I guess it doesn't matter if he's still here shooting these units, right? Meanwhile, the Marines are probably going to be able to pick down this third base if they want. The drones are being pulled with these queens to try and deal with this. The medevac's getting very low. One of them does get picked off. He's not focusing the third. He wants to get the queens. Now he's fighting against the Lings. The other medevac is dead, but there's still a lot of Marines in this base. The rest of the Lings have returned. Widow Mine is going to... Oop. Has not detonated just yet. Now blows up. Gets quite a few of the Zerglings. And Daywalker is releasing the pain. He's killed most of the Queens. He's killed all of the Zerglings. And he's going to kill this third base. More and more Lings. 24 on the way to try and help push this back. I think he just popped a Transfuse on that. But it is not going to be enough. There's another Transfuse. The Hatchery. Is it going to fall? Oh, no. He didn't focus it. He didn't focus the Hatchery. Just 29 hit points. Final Fury barely saves that third base. Oh, oh, oh. This Widow Mine has 24 kills. Brutal. Savage. Rigged. This hatchery has 34 health. Oh, he, you can see the Metal Gear sound is because uh, detection came in vision range, I think. It's warning the Widow Mine that it's going to be spotted, basically. I can't believe that that hatchery has less than 40 health. That's so sick. If he had focus fired it for the last few seconds, he would have been able to kill it. What a, what a ridiculous game. Okay, there's the Overseer. So now the mine's revealed. It kills a few last lings as it dies. It dies with 29 kills. So definitely a worth Widow Mine. Two more medevacs are going towards the northeast side. Now, if, if Daywalker can get his medevacs into position, he should be able to get some work done against this. He's actually going to be able to... He should be able to deny this fourth base if he drops right now before the Ling Bane gets over there. I think Bane Ling Speed is on the way. Yeah, it's not done just yet. But these Marines are going to drop right here. A focus fire should pop a cancel on this hatchery. Yep, there we go. And the medevacs are going to boost over. Now, you need to be really careful. There's only 55 health on that. But the Banelings are going to blow up all over the Marines. And they're going to be picked off. The Spore Crawler kills the full medevac. And, of course, Queens have infinite range. So, that's my base. Final Fury defends himself as the third is now planted down firmly and secured for Daywalker. Final Fury's Overlord can see it, though. This Overlord does not look very happy. Um, but yeah, there you go. <laughs> Can't even see the Banes too bright. Yeah, this, this, uh, this color for the Zerg, it, it definitely pops with the uh, 2D art style. That is for sure. Uh, one of these links has cloth in its mouth. Am I am I seeing this right? Yeah, yeah, okay. I remember this was in the... Uh, yeah, this is this, the ling. This is the ling with the cloth in its mouth. These links are trying to break down the front door. They are There are Bane links here. They're going to break the wall open. The bio is attempting to retreat to the side. We've got the Marauders to tank up front with the Marines in back. More are coming up towards the north side. The Widow Mine Burrow Defense is going to try to help, but not too much. With all of the Bane links gone, these Marines should be fine to defend. They do have 1-1. One, one. The Armory is about to finish up as Combat Shield is researching right now. I think we're basically waiting. The armory's going to finish, and then uh, Daywalker can start his 2-2 upgrades. He's actually floating quite a few minerals. How many barracks does he have? Looks like he just has 
five okay five okay that's not too bad he's adding on four more there we go that's gonna help a lot dealing with this there's a lot of ling bane on the map for final fury but he does need to get that fourth base set up i still can't believe he after all of this he's held on to his third base and he's put a lot of his uh queen leftover energy into transfusing it these creep tumors have faces that actually bothers me this is actually really disturbing looking it's actually really i don't know man i'm uncomfortable <laughs> So Daywalker holding the northeast side. He is getting attacked from the left side. One of his barracks is under fire. That depot is getting very low. There's a marine just chilling at the sensor tower. Well, that's actually awesome touch. Sensor tower just has a little marine dude chilling there. So some good poking though. I mean, this barracks is getting dangerously low. Daywalker, you got to repair it. He needs to keep it together. His army is coming back to help stop this uh, counterattack. Burying a widow mine here is a pretty smart move gonna blow up a few of those scvs he raises the depot he's like yeah man you don't want to come up here it's like i will mess you up at the same time he pokes the right side but a bane lanes are gonna break it open and he could go right for the scv line there's a bunch of scvs and mules here command center is gonna lift off as the workers get chased down daywalker's army is coming in from the left he's gonna try to get in position to be able to defend this now the bane lanes did not get on top of him. There's not enough Banelings to really uh, stop him. Great. Great back and forth. Great harass that we're seeing out of Final Fury onto Daywalker's base. But, oh boy. Final Fury's got his 3-3 three, three on the way. His, well, he doesn't have his plus 3 armor on the way yet. Hive looks really angry in this game, by the way. The Hive just looks so mad. Seriously. Uh, and Chitinous Plating is on the way for the Ultralisks. So, Ultras are going to be very, very difficult to deal with. Three of them are coming in. This is... Terran versus Zerg as we know it. It's all about them ultras. About them ultras. Don't tell them. So that is going to make things pretty difficult for Bio. Since we all know Marines and Marauders are pretty bad against uh, ultralisk based armies. There needs to be a transition into some heavier firepower. Uh, for Bio, the transition is 99% of the time going to be Liberators. He needs Liberators. Um, there's really nothing else that's going to get him quite as much utility in a scenario like this. There we go. Two extra starports are being added these are the keys to success you 100 percent without a doubt need uh a liberators to deal with ultralisks it's a, it's the best terran tool that you have in the game now these banelings want to go for a backstab they're going to blow up all of these widow mines trades five banes for five mines not bad these marines are going to kill the rest of the banelings they do take some splatter on their faces but the fourth base does get picked up and the big ling bane flood comes in from the right side the ultras are here hungry hungry ultralisks the elephants with tusks are coming in through the northeast side. The Marines are forced to deal with these Zerglings. The infrastructure is coming under fire, but the Ultralisks, they don't die. He's kiting back. He's microing his heart out. The Ultras are not dying. Tasteless. Well, this looks like a normal game of StarCraft to me. Rip. Baby Rage. Never lucky. GG. Final Fury takes the game. Well played. If you guys like this video, please leave a comment in the section below. Press that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.